A pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports Dynamic News. I'm Joe Borick. Please continue to subscribe if you enjoy the content to help us grow to 2.30 or more to meet our goal by the end of April. We appreciate you guys' love and support this far. This is going to be on the Lehigh Valley Phantoms having one of the biggest issues of their season come to the fold again, which is inconsistency. Other than the start of the season when the Phantoms were just pure bad until they got kind of into the end of November, more December onward when they were starting to do better, balanced out for a couple months, didn't obviously have a good February in moments of February and then March, but then started doing better to start this month having key wins against Wilkesbury, Utica, Bridgeport, and then losing to Wilkesbury on that Wednesday game, but having a great bounce back four to one win against the arch rival Hershey Bears. So it seemed like things were still going in the right direction, but whoa, 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 not so fast as Mr. Inconsistency comes to strike for the Phantoms again, and they fall to the same Bridgeport Islanders. They beat 4-3 to three the previous week in Bridgeport, 4-2 to two in Bridgeport, on a game that the Phantoms, again, it's been multiple times this year, the Phantoms haven't even been able to get one to two goals at times, which is too many, but there's been multiple games they can't get two or more, and you're not going to win enough hockey games to get to the playoffs doing that, having the inconsistency at overall play, other than the fact that Felix Sandstrom has kind of actually been a stud as far as I'm concerned, and that this year is the only reason, a big reason why. Same with Pat Nagel, we've got to give a shout out and claps up to him. Why the Phantoms have been in this, their goaltending has actually stepped up, and their stats are not even as good as they've played because the defense has been shoddy at times, and they're not really able to make saves that are miracle, they're not miracle workers, basically, that can just make these ridiculous Hasek X saves that only he was able to make. So... I think this team has looked better. Let me say this in the positive. Rounding out the season, showing strides for next season. Ian LaPerriere seems like he's learned how to adjust on the fly and coach rather than just kind of mentor like he did as an assistant with the Flyers and just kind of steer guys in the right direction because he wasn't a head coach, he was an assistant. Now he's kind of figuring out that realm, it seems like, in a pretty good away so it seems like rounding out the season guys that you want to see playing while well, Logan Days started to look sharp rounding at the season Wyatt Wiley's looked very good rounding at the season Ratcliffe's looked very good Strom has continued to grow so you have guys you want to continue to see play well that are youngsters Johnson's come in and performed way better than I thought I had to eat crow on him and I'm very happy for that Cal Riley seems like he's going to stick around hopefully and a great natural born leader and then you have other guys like uh, Zamula, I think, will probably make the team out of camp next year. But obviously, they have other guys that could come over as well. A Tard might see some AHL time. So then you're going to get um, that as well. You're going to get a good player like a Tard down there as well to see what uh, he's able to do. Or Adderd, um, however you pronounce his last name. Either way, uh, he's it's been pronounced multiple different ways uh, from listening to different people. But I, I guess Adderd is probably the right way. But either way, he's a very good defenseman. And he's already shown some strides at the NHL level. He just needs to still round out his game. So maybe he'll be on the AHL to start next season. And that helps even more as well. Brink might even see some AHL time. Who knows? That's even a more skilled guy down there. Forster's definitely going to see more AHL time. Same with Zaid Wisdom. So there's good things moving in the right direction for the Phantoms. But for this season, I think what's going to happen as their playoff hopes are on life support to round out this video, it's going to be what we talk about in the end. The awful start to the season. Yes, there was injuries, but everybody has injuries. And I'm done with using injuries as excuses for teams. That's what I did when I was younger. And I, I used to believe it more when I was younger growing up. Now, when from covering the sport and talking to players, they talk about the next man of mentality and how important it is for them. So I don't believe that as an excuse anymore. So, yes, there was injuries, but they started looking better. It's not like they were even the healthiest when they looked better in December. They just started looking better. The Phantoms then got healthy. They brought Fitzy and others back. Um, made some decent pickups like Kyle from Briere's main Mariners that have actually fit in fairly well. But um, it's all about now just letting this this play out and letting guys that should be playing up in the lineup and not overplaying AHL veterans, letting guys that are going to be key parts next year play more rounding at the season. Because, again, the playoff hopes are on life support, and I don't see them making it any shot in the world. I would give it at most a 5 to 7% chance at this point after losing those games. A bad game to Bridgeport. They couldn't even score two goals to at least get it to overtime. Like, come on, man. And then also losing that game on Sunday to Bridgeport after the – or a bad game to Providence, excuse me, that they couldn't even score two goals, and then losing that game to Bridgeport 4-2 to two where they could only score two goals. 
after getting them with four goals to win four to three the week prior. So the Phantoms are ruled by inconsistency this year, ruled by an awful start to the season, and that's what's going to bite them in the butt in the end. But at least in the positive direction, Lappy's looked like he's grown as a coach as time's gone on. Guys like Matty Strom and other youngsters, Wyatt Wiley, bringing in Brendan Manel was a very good acquisition. So I think this team has strided well going into next season, even more so potentially than their parent club has made strides, which I'll talk about in a video I'm doing soon, but maybe not. Maybe that's a little bit too far. But it's good to see both teams, let's put it that way, in the Flyers having youngsters stride and also the Phantoms having youngsters stride in the right direction. Even though the season's a crapshoot and it's not a good season for the team as a whole, in either way, for the Phantoms and or the Flyers, um, I think it's good to just see guys that are important going forward stride in the right direction. And that's kind of my roundabout positive end of this, because obviously this video overall, unfortunately, wasn't positive as I think. And I think probably most Phantom fans think the playoff hopes after those two back-to-back -back losses are on life support. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please you subscribe down below or above on the Easy Dues Widgets Keep the channel going and growing to 230 or more by the end of April. Really appreciate you guys' love and support this far.